Our perceptions of the world around us are easily skewed by social influences. Most people underestimate the critical role that cognitive and social factors play in our perception and interpretation of sense data. Although emotion has traditionally been regarded as the culprit when reason goes astray, studies suggest that many of the errors in our thinking are neurological in nature. Our minds are not like blank sheets of paper or recording devices such as cameras or video recorders, as empiricists claim. Instead, our brains construct a picture of the world, much as an artist does. Our brains filter our perceptions and fill in misinformation based in part on our expectations. Misperception and random data. Because our brains loathe absence of meaning, we may see order or meaningful patterns where there are none. For example, when we look at clouds or see unexplained lights in the sky, our brains impose meaning on the random shapes we see. Because of our brain's inclination to impose meaning on random data, we should maintain a stance of skepticism about what we see. The combination of the error of misperceiving random data with confirmation bias is illustrated by the next example. After the devastation of New Orleans by Hurricane Katrina in 2005, a group known as the Columbia Christians for Life announced that God's purpose in sending the hurricane was to destroy the five abortion clinics in the city. Their proof was a radar photograph taken of the hurricane in which they claimed to have seen what looked like a fetus facing to the left, west, in the womb in the early weeks of gestation. A stress as well as preconceptions about the world can affect our perception. How many of us walking alone at night have seen a person or dog standing in a shadow only to discover it was a bush or other object? Memorable Events Error The memorable events error involves our ability to vividly remember outstanding events. For example, most Spanish football supporters recall exactly where they were and what were they doing on the evening of July the 10th, 2010, when Spain played the World Cup final in South Africa. However, if you ask someone what they were doing on an ordinary weekday two months ago, most people would be unable to remember or would remember only if they could think of something special that happened on that day. To use another example, airplane crashes and fatalities are reported in the national media, whereas automobile fatalities generally are not. However, per mile travel, airplane travel is far safer. We are 16 times more likely to be killed in an automobile accident than in an airplane accident. In fact, traffic accidents are one of the leading causes of death and disability of people between ages of 15 and 44. However, the memorable events error exerts such control over our thinking that even after being informed of those statistics, many of us still continue to be more nervous about flying than about driving. The memorable events error is sometimes tied with confirmation bias, in which we tend to remember events that confirm our beliefs and forget those that are contrary to our beliefs. A popular belief in the United States is that death takes a holiday and that terminally ill patients can postpone their death until after an important holiday or birthday. In fact, this belief is based purely on wishful thinking and anecdotal evidence. In an analysis of the death certificates of more than a million people who died from cancer, scientists found no evidence 
that there is a reduction in death rates prior to a birthday or an important holiday. Personal and social beliefs are remarkably strong even in the face of empirical evidence that logically should be devastating. When the results were published, scientists received several angry emails criticizing them for taking away people's hopes.